welcome to the Dairy Show, the 40th Dairy Show here in Shepton Mallet in Somerset at the Royal Bath and My Showground. Uh, it's quite a momentous event to think that 40 years ago these sheds would have just had some British Frisians in, it was a sell with a few trade stands and then it just began to grow. We used to have classes of like 35 British Frisian heifers and we've gradually grown the event uh, to encompass more breeds. Also the trade stands now are the major part of the show uh, with up to a good show we have 280, 300 at this show. With Covid it hasn't had an effect we've got 240 trade stands covering everything from machinery, consultancy, genetics, financial advice, feed advice. So the show really encompasses everything about like dairy show but what I find fascinating is every year we move with the time. So a few years ago we began to see the, the advance of the robotic milking. This year we have several companies selling vendor machines as this is a real growth area for a dairy farmer to sell at the farm gate. So Dairy Show is a show for all dairy farmers and anybody in the industry. Also very pleased to welcome this year as new exhibitors, the Farmer's Guide. Um, you can never have too much information and it's great to have Farmer's Guide on board here at the show. I'm sure farmers will find it a very useful, useful source of information to aid their business. Um, after a good 18 months of being in lockdown, um, it's nice to be out and about and see some farmers and actually get back to, uh, to doing what we do. So hopefully we'll have a good day, the sun's shining and um, lots of people here, so it should be a good day. And they are both owned and exhibited by Polly Wetham and they are the Ever Eve, Exalibo Rosie and Ever Eve, Rockton in your our bedding, two types, uh, EnviroBed Premium and EnviroBed New. Uh, EnviroBed Premium has uh, a blend of dried paper crumb and sawdust, whereas the EnviroBed New is just uh, dried paper crumb. It's uh, 94 to 95% dry matter, uh, 7.4 pH, uh, sold in bulk, totes and small bags if required. Uh, very absorbent, five times more so than straight sawdust and ten times more so than uh, straw. Um, very soft on the cow's udder so you don't get any um, lesions or any cracks on the teat. Um, also helps sort of control uh, pathogenic bacteria. from ADF Milking. We're exhibiting today at the Royal Bath and West Showground and uh, we've met a lot of customers and they're very interested in our new Invent product. So uh, we're busy, busy, busy. We're going to admire real lovely the dairy and her bone and her and her top. We're really looking forward to seeing the pepper later on. Thank you. Spectatech and we sell a system which is a health detection system 
volatility and carving alerts as well. We basically just put a bolus inside a cow to monitor her health and fertility and feed that back to the farmer and a nice simple easy to use app which he can use on farm or wherever he is. I'm Andrew Conover, Communications and Events Manager for Mole Valley Farmers and we're delighted to be here at the Dairy Show today. Uh, we're headline sponsor, we're here with our marquee. It's great to be back out at uh, Agriculture Event. It's been a long um, sort of 18 months for everyone but it's great to be out here meeting farmers. We're talking about our feed side of the business, the work we're doing with regard to carbon footprinting and helping farmers reduce their environmental impact and we've got our team of feed experts agri experts, nutritionists, vets that are really here to talk to farmers, understand the needs of their business and really do what we can to support them and promote UK agriculture. Hello, I'm Alex Clothier from Roland Trailers partnering at the Dairy Shepton Mallet um, Dairy Event. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, this is Alan Raymond from Mason's Kings. We partner the stand together and uh, we're just showing our hydraulic lowering cattle trailer, our silage trailer and our manure spreaders. Very busy day today, very, very good little buzz around the show. What do you think, Alan? Yeah, we've had a lot of people here, a lot of customers, existing customers and potential new customers. So all in all for us, it's been a very, very good event. It's nice to be back actually at the at the show after what is two years away now and like I said we've always had this um, collaboration with Roland with Roland dealers they do very well for us um, and you do very well for us which is great so that's how it works that's, it's a good working combination and like I say if there's anything we can help you with in the future from Roland or from Mason's Kings please contact us So the shear bucket is something we launched about three years ago. Uh, it was something that we, we got asked constantly about doing because we, we got a really good name with shear grabs. So the shear bucket was a natural thing that we, that we did offer for our customers. Um, so we put one to a test for a year. We wanted to really produce something that was exceptionally heavy duty and that our customers would be uh, you know, trust and use and it would have the all but name and be good in that sense. So when we did it we wanted to use uh, high tensile steels, hard ops and strengths. So that's the majority of what makes up the shear bucket. When it was tested we used a couple of different designs, a couple of different plates across the front of the bucket. It was something that we wanted to get into the pit face well enough and also fill up the bucket as much as possible so you get the capacities as you would do with a shear grab. All models come with bolt-on brackets so you can chop and change to suit your machine and throughout our dealership network most dealers will have them in stock for the winter season.